the char or the caramelization of it, uh, no one wants an anemic steak. I mean, if I gave you a steak that was as white as my chef jacket, you'd be, something's up here. Hit it, boys. Get your munchies on because you're watching Taste Buds. Today we're learning how to grow steak at La Vache, a Parisian steakhouse in Hong Kong. This is James Harrison, chef at La Vache. Born in Australia, he moved to Hong Kong about six years ago. He's been cooking for about 18 years now and he's worked a lot with meat. Felix and I are going to be preparing our own steaks. First, we're told to trim the fat off the piece. Now that the fat is cut, we're going to season it. Mmm. Okay, so uh, we we're going through Salt Bay <laughs> and talking about why he's doing it so high. The further your hand is away from the piece of meat, the more evenly spaced the seasoning should become. We'll use butter on our steaks just to help some of that seasoning stick and to help caramelize the steak as well. So some sea salt, really high quality sea salt and some cracked black pepper. And that's all we'll season it with because we like to let the meat speak for itself. Again, it's got a lot of fat in it, especially the ribeye. It has a good amount of fat to it, so the fat itself is going to be flavorful. After seasoning it, we put the steak on the griddle and gently tapped it to make sure it falls flat. So here's a fun fact. The red liquid you're seeing here is actually myoglobin, a protein that delivers oxygen to an animal's muscles. It turns red when the meat is cut or exposed to air. So I just finished grilling the steak and um, Felix knows his steak, so I think I'm going to get him to try it. I mean, I don't know how to cook a steak, but I know what a good steak is, so now I'm going to try Natasha's. It looks good. I mean, you can still see the meat. It's a little bit pink. Char smell, I like it. I think Natasha overcooked it. It's a little bit chewy. Well, we all use the same spices, you know, the salt and pepper, so the taste is there. It should be good, the taste. Mm. It's okay, I'll give them um, three stars out of five. So I will try my own steak now. I would say it's a little bit dark. Um, it's not as pink as Natasha one. I think it remains perfect because I, I put it at the perfect spot on the grill. Um, I think I put a little bit too much um, pepper in it, so it's a bit spicy. Mm. It's overcooked. It's like my granny's face skin, you know? It's like wrinkled and super chewy. But I'll get four out of five because I make the steak. Yeah. So much for a fair review. Well, next week on Taste Buds, we're going to be trying pizza, and not just any pizza. It's supposedly the world's best pizza. Stay tuned.